Tim, it, it, it's hard to believe that Blue Origin is almost two decades old. This company has been around for a long time, and now we are just now getting to this first human flight to space. How would relativity be different? Yeah, th thanks for having me on, Emily. And Relativity was founded five and a half years ago. We've already raised now over $1.3 billion. Uh, we're 3D printing entire rockets. So we, we've already built our own rocket engine. We've done over 500 tests of that engine. We're actually building our first orbital flight rocket that we plan to launch from Cape Canaveral at the end of this year. So e even just less than six years into our company founding, we're already launching a rocket to orbit we're the most pre-sold rocket in history before launch. So we're, we're not just launching satellites to space, we're actually building a whole new tech stack for, for building and iterating rockets that based, is based on 3D printing. So we 3D print 95% of our rocket, and we're really at this uh, forefront of an inevitable shift towards software-driven manufacturing, which is gonna increase the rate of innovation. And, and I founded the company with this long-term vision of making humanity multiplanetary on Mars. And I, I really think it's inevitable. Someone has to be the company to build an industrial base. No one had done it since uh, SpaceX was founded back in 2002. And so there needs to be more companies going after the, this part of the uh, vision and future of humanity. So hang on, because we are watching this incredible video of this 3D printing in action. You are setting out, I just want to underscore this, to build. 3D print an entire rocket. Break it down for us in a nutshell. How how can this even happen? Yeah, so 3D printing is, is actually a technology that can build metal parts. So we invented the world's largest metal 3D printers at Relativity. We started in Y Combinator. So we, we don't just build our own rockets, we actually build the 3D printers as well and have customized them to be able to actually build functional rocket parts. Um, so, so the whole rocket is 110 feet tall, seven and a half foot diameter. Uh, we announced this last week a fully reusable rocket named Terran R that's uh, nearly 20 times larger. So this is 216 feet tall, 16 foot diameter. That whole thing's gonna be fully 3D printed as well. And it's these really big Westworld looking 3D uh, printing machines that we've invented that can actually build a rocket from raw material coming in the door to fully complete in only about 60 days. Um, and then 60 days later, do a better version, and 60 days later, a better version than that. So it's really disrupting this paradigm that for the last 60 years, in every aerospace factory around the world, uh, really it's still been true that it's people building products one at a time by hand with hundreds of thousands to millions of individual piece parts in a very complicated supply chain. That's resulted in the aerospace industry being very slow to uh, innovate and create new products. So we really see it being the underpinning of a, a huge new paradigm that is on the, the future development of not just rockets, but the aerospace industry writ large. Now, given that you worked at Blue Origin, were you surprised that Jeff Bezos decided to uh, go on this first flight carrying passengers into space? And what are the odds that this will all happen <laughs> safely? I mean, your mind goes there to the unthinkable. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. I know it's of, unlikely, of but it goes there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of course. So, so I've actually uh, got the good fortune. I worked with Jeff when I was at Blue Origin. I first started as an intern, actually ended up doing the first metal 3D printing at Blue Origin and started the metal 3D printing division there. So I've remained cl close friends with Jeff through the years. And um, yeah, I actually think I worked on New Shepard. So it, it's, a, it's a very safe craft. I think they've taken a very rigorous approach to development. And, and I think for sure he, he's going to be safe. And I think it's a big vote of confidence in, in what they're building and uh, definitely wish them the best. I think it's going to be a fun ride. A fun ride and a safe ride? Is it all going to go down smoothly? Yeah, it's definitely going to go down smoothly. I think it's going to be intense, don't get me wrong. I mean, you're, you're <laughs> launching yourself to space. This is, this is not for the weak-hearted or, or lack of adventurous. Um, but yeah, no, I think it's going to be successful. And you know, go, going back to 3D printing, I think over time, because 3D printing is an automation technology, um, we're going to be able to build more reliable rockets than what is possible with traditional manufacturing in the future as well here at Relativity. So quick last question, and I, I, I know there's a much longer answer here, but you got 30 seconds. If you could put your bets on Blue Origin or SpaceX or Virgin Galactic, which do you pick? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I certainly think if you look over the last two decades, SpaceX has been the dominant force that's launched more rockets to orbit and landed rockets and docked with the space station. And we're very fortunate at Relativity. We have a lot of the people that built Private Space 1.0. 
Um, we are across our 400 now, 400 person team. They've landed and launched over 10,000 rockets at the team in relativity. And I think there's going to be successive generations of very disruptive space companies that you see uh, really making this future happen in a big way.